So I'm not actually sure if this is something I need to do, but if I buy another shield for 750k, I think it should have more charges. Yes, he has 2,500 charges compared to the one I currently have that has 500 charges. So we're going to be using the one with a lot of charges. But yeah, at this point, I'm actually just going to go ahead and imbue my Sears ring, charge my DFS, and then I'll leave this account in the save zone. So I have already done a bunch of NMZ, therefore I can straight up imbue my Sears ring, which is going to be my best uh, ring to use in the 1v1s. And after that, if I want to imbue myself a Dragonfire shield, what I can simply do is talk to this man, click Dream, go Practice, go Normal Practice, and then choose Dragon Slayer Elvarg. Now what that is going to do is I'm going to be spawned in the room with Elvarg, and I can pretty much just charge my shield in almost no time at all. And here we have it, one minute later, our shield is fully charged, so we can leave this area, very nice. I ended up just eating this because I didn't want to eat my bruise. There we go. Arma Hilt first kill, are you serious? Oh! As if! As if! Yeah. I just got Statues Warhammer on my other account, what the fuck? Arma Helmet, oh no! Watch it, it's, it's happening. Deference. Ah. That's a lot of an R. Tuna potato Eddie bar. Okay. For one last time, let's appreciate the bank because after this, we are uh, we're going, we're leaving. Holy shit! I'm very nervous. I'm always very nervous, but mainly I'm always nervous just for the multi part. Uh, I'm going in full tank gear as I usually do. This is what we would lose if we were to die. Fortunately, didn't really get to sell everything. Uh, once we do get to one v ones, we do upgrade the gear into uh, arma. Ancestral, Major's Book, everything. So this time around there was over 1,500 people basically stacked in two locations. So you can naturally assume that over 700 people in RuneScape on one spot equals, well, a lot of lag. So as you can see here with the clicks, you can see that there's in some occasions like over one second delay where I click. It is so bad to play in these situations, but let's see how our multi fight went.
And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we unfortunately fall in the multi-stage of the tournament. Now, I know for a fact I had so much more to show you guys, but that is just outside of my control, unfortunately. Multi-stage is a part of Deadman mode at the very moment, and I can't change that. If it was for me, it would be straight 1v1s, no multi-stage, and that, in my opinion, would be an amazing Deadman mode tournament. But obviously, I don't work for Jagex, I have no say in how they run the tournaments. Uh, but yeah, there's so much RNG involved in the final area, especially with the friend finder being unable to hide yourself from, you know, anyone, pretty much. It, it kind of sucks, but uh, maybe there's going to be some changes in the future Deadman modes. Perhaps they're going to be hiding everyone's names. Maybe they're going to do more than just two areas, perhaps four areas, just so we don't lag like crazy in during the final fight. There are so many options to make Deadman mode better. But for now, this one was very enjoyable. I did enjoy making all the videos for you guys. You guys seem to enjoy it as well. We ended up getting like a 10,000 new subs to the channel during the course of uh, the last two weeks or so. So thank you very much for that. But unfortunately, we did end up going down to multi, which I think is the worst way to go. So I'm a little bit sad because of it, but I don't think I can change it at, uh, right now anyways. In hindsight, I could probably play it much safer to the point where I wouldn't be barraging, I wouldn't be blood barraging all the time. Unfortunately, a lot of people in the Alliance were using that tactic of just not attacking which I'm not very happy with, it, it sucks a bit to be one of the few people really that were actually casting their spells, um, but you know, it is what it is, I can't change that right now. Uh, a couple of things that I could have m probably changed is perhaps take more combo food and maybe pray mage a little bit more. Unfortunately, I thought that praying range was the way to go here, but looking at the footage, I do see a lot of people barraging rather than chinning. Now, in the past tournaments, there was a lot more rag rangers. So, in my thought process, I thought that if I play range and augury, I have a pretty decent chance at, you know, tanking if I get clumped. But uh, as you could see in that clip, my HP just went from 100 to 0, basically. And maybe, just maybe, I, uh, I should have played mage. But, uh, yeah, with that being said, I did enjoy this deadman mode. I hope you enjoyed it too. I have more stuff in stock planned for you guys in the very near future. Um, I'm gonna stop rambling right now. Um, it's pretty late. It's like 4 a.m. right here as I'm editing this video. I had a bunch of problems with Camtasia to even produce it. However, we did end up making it. And uh, yeah, thank you for all the support, boys. I'll be streaming again tomorrow and the videos will return, I guess, very, very soon. Have a good one, everyone, and bye-bye. Uh,